the role of a real estate agent is to be an agent, right? What is an agent? What's the definition of an agent? It's one who acts in behalf of someone else. That, by definition, the word agent implies bias. Originating from deep inside the Rocky Mountains, transported through the power of the internet, and arriving inside your tiny earbuds, it's the Appraiser Coach Podcast, helping appraisers increase their efficiency, quality, and make more money. Here's the guy who makes it his life's mission to create value for real estate appraisers nationwide, your host. Dustin Harris. Welcome back one and all to the program. Dustin Harris hanging out once again, the podcast chair sponsored by three great companies today. Alamode, of course, being one of them. Alamode is my software of choice. Has been for over 25 years, folks. It should be your choice as well. Alamode.com or 800 Alamode sponsored by Data Master just on a forum. And we're going to talk about forums today, by the way. Uh, and uh, just on a forum on Facebook recently, and someone asked about Data Master, and I, I held my tongue uh, because they are a sponsor here, but uh, I was uh, pleasantly pleased as other appraisers chimed in when the question was asked, hey, I just learned about Data Master. Should I invest? <laughs> yes, you should. Datamasterusa.com, datamasterusa.com, and of course, OREP Insurance is my e and of choice. You do have a choice in e and folks. Choose one that works for you. Check them out. It's OREP, OREP.org, O-R-E-P dot O-R-G. Well, speaking of forums, as you know, I do peruse the internets on occasion, and I do uh, pay a little bit of attention to what's going on. I don't always chime in, but I certainly do take note of the temperature, if you will, of appraisers across the nation and some of the things that they might be frustrated at. I'm going to share with you uh, a post, but I'm going to do it in a general way because, first of all, it's not my forum. Uh, this is not on the All-Star Team forum, which we do have a, a All-Star Team group. A uh, little bit of a different tenor when it comes to the All-Star Team group. Um, not a lot of complaining, mostly constructive questions and feedback, and you'll find it uh, in that group at least uh, very positive, and uh, uh, it's just a great group of people. Not to say that the one that I'm reading from is not a great group of people, but it is a different Facebook forum for appraisers. Yes, there's many of them on there. And there was a question asked recently uh, that I am not going to uh, reveal the individual's name. And I am not going to read word for word what this individual said on the forum uh, because I don't want to out him. I will say it's a him. At least I think it's a him. It's, 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 it's one of those names that could go either way. Let's put it that way. It's uh, applied to mutual genders. Let's put it that way. <laughs> um, and the question, and it wasn't really a question. It was just kind of a complaint. And it was basically a question or a comment, rather, about annoying real estate agents. Now, Folks, first of all, I know a lot of real estate agents listen to this podcast. Hi, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, but yeah, you can be annoying sometimes, right? And I'm sure the feeling is mutual. I'm sure there's things that we do as appraisers that annoy the crap out of you as well. And that, I think, is just par for the course. And when I say par for the course, I'm using a general term to describe the fact that that's just life. Right? I think that, that because we have different interests, yes, we're both involved in real estate. Yes, we might both be involved in the purchase transaction in a circumstance. We each have our role. And I've said this before. I'll say it again. The role of a real estate agent is to be a biased party. Let me repeat that. The role of a real estate agent is to be an agent. Right? What is an agent? What's the definition of an agent? It's one who acts in behalf of someone else. That, by definition, the word agent implies bias. You are working in behalf of your client, and there's nothing wrong with that. Now, appraisers will bristle at that because that's rule number one. We are, we are the complete opposite as far as our job title goes. We are not to be a biased party. We are to be really sometimes the only unbiased third party in a transaction. You're going to have a biased listing agent, a, bi a biased selling agent. You're going to have a biased buyer. You're going to have a biased seller. You're going to have a biased lender. Right, and you may even have a, a bias. Some would say, well, at least the underwriter is is unbiased. I'm thinking, really? You sure about that? I mean, think about what their role truly is and who they work for and who who, who writes their paycheck. It truly is the appraiser that should be in that transaction, the only unbiased, truly unbiased third party. Right, that is our role. And I say this because there's nothing, absolutely nothing, wrong with that. I have a role. And real estate agents, you have a role. Your role is to get that deal done. Your role is to get your commission. Your role is to wrap that thing up. Yes, your role is to support your client. Sometimes we lose sight of this, I think. 
But that really truly is your to represent the best interest of the individual that you are an agent for. And that's either the buyer or the seller, as the case may be, depending on which role you're playing, or maybe both. And there there is a, a dual agency uh, form that specifically has to be filled out and disclosed, if you will, if you represent both sides of the party. And there's a reason for that as well. Okay, now that we've established that foundation, let me just share with you this post in general. And it basically was this individual saying, I really hate it when, and he lays out a couple of things that he hates about real estate agents. Okay, let's put it that way. Um, <laughs> the, the bottom line is, folks, and, and, and thankfully, the, the appraisers that followed up with this individual, I think were pretty um, wise in their reaction because to be honest with you, and, and without revealing specifically what he said, and again, I'm doing this for the protection of the group. I, I don't feel it's fair for me to get in and be a um, a pariah on someone else's group and then jump on the microphone and complain about it. Okay, that's not fair, especially because I don't think I commented on this one. Maybe I did. Uh, I, maybe I, I maybe I did. I don't know. The bottom line is, is if if you're not gonna if you're not well, I think I did. I actually do see my comment there. So um, <laughs> the bottom line is, in fact, I'll just share my comment with you. I'm not gonna read it word for word again. I don't want you to necessarily look this up. I'm not trying to throw this person under the bus. I'm trying to make a point, right? And basically, I I said. These seems like pretty reasonable questions. The things that you're being annoyed at seem to me to be pretty reasonable, honestly. I mean, if you think about the real estate agent's role, what they're asking you is not that wild. It's not, it's not like he was complaining about agents saying you need to come in at a certain value. I can understand you know, why we would be annoyed at that particular thing. But these are simple questions that would come on a pretty regular basis from a real estate agent that, frankly, if they didn't ask those questions, I'd be wondering right? They're just simple questions. And I'll, I'll give you this much. They're simple timing questions about, about the appraisal process and how long it takes. Why is, that, why is that so annoying? I don't know. But there's a bigger principle at stake here that I want to share with you when we get back from the break. I want to pause here first. Remind you, of course, that we are sponsored by three great companies. And one of them is OREP Insurance. Folks, if you right now go to your computer and type in OREP dot O-R-G, and then you click on the benefits tab, I think you'll be blown away. I want you to just compare the benefits that you get with OREP up against the ENO company that you may be with currently. I am guessing, my friends, I'm just guessing here, but I'm guessing there is a chasm there. I'm guessing that there is a big difference there. Why? Because OREP leads the pack. Check them out. Go to OREP.org. Again, it's O-R-E-P dot O-R-G. All right, folks, uh, we're also sponsored, of course, by Data Master. Data Master is saving appraisers time. Now, I've mentioned it here before. I'll mention it here again because I've actually taken a stopwatch, believe it or not. I know it seems crazy, but I've actually taken a stopwatch and timed how long it takes to put in the data that Data Master will put in automatically with a touch of a button. And it's about 40 minutes. 40 minutes. 4-0, folks, on every single report. That's not daily. That's not weekly. That's not monthly. That is on every single report that you do. So let's just say, I don't know, you're doing three reports a day. 40 times three, you're saving two hours a day using Data Master. Check them out. Go to datamasterusa.com. Again, it's datamasterusa.com. And finally, we are sponsored by Alamode. Alamode, of course, is the software that I've been using for over 25 years. They've been in business over three decades, helping appraisers to do more, helping appraisers to invest in themselves and invest in their company. Why? Because they allow you to do what you do with ease. Now, you can use another software company out there, folks, but none of them compare to the leader in the industry. It's Alamode, alamode.com or 800 Alamode. Welcome back to the program, everyone. We're talking today about a post that I saw on Facebook. And, and you know what, folks, to give some credit where credit is due, the job we do is frustrating, and often we we hit a barrier, if you will, or at least a bump in the road when it comes to uh, various people that we deal with. Our job is to be an unbiased third party, and sometimes others, because number one, they may not fully understand our job, or number two, they don't care uh, because they have a job to do. Sometimes we bump up against uh, some ulterior um, biases, if you will, or ulterior ways of doing things that may not fit into the way that we do things. And one of those might be a real estate agent. Now, I have the utmost ex uh, respect for a real estate agent. One of my good friends lives down the, the street from me. Uh, she is a, a an agent, and I see what she does. And she and I joke uh, quite often um, because she and I have done some deals before. We have bought. Uh, she's helped me to purchase a couple of different properties. And I see some of the things that she does. And we joke sometimes because I know that some people are, you know, really, you got you got 3% commission for that? That's all you want? You put a sign out and you sign an offer? Right? Folks, Agents do much, much more than that, trust me. 
Uh, and, and there are many things that we ran into during the purchase of my investment properties where I would say to her, all right, Jessica, I guess you're, you're earning your 3% today, right? And, uh, um, and, and I think she understood the, the, uh, the irony there. In other words, I have the utmost respect for other professionals in the field, and that's kind of where I'm going today. When I was young, my mother used to use a term, as, uh, and she didn't do it all the time, but frequently, especially when I went out on a date, it seemed like when I went out with uh, someone of the opposite sex, as I walked out the door, she would say, Dustin, remember who you are. Right. And I also I just always thought that was weird. Well, OK, I'm Dustin Harris. What, what do you mean who I am? And obviously, as a parent now, I understand where she was coming from. Dustin, remember who you are and act accordingly. Right. You're not a scumbag. You're not an idiot. You're not a fool. You're not somebody who is animalistic in nature and, and can't uh, think with a, with a brain. Um, rather than other body parts, if you will. Uh, forgive me for that. But I think that's what she was getting at, right? Don't be stupid and, and, and debase yourself. Um, be smart. Understand who you are. Understand your upbringing and the things that you've been taught and act accordingly. And it was good advice. It was a good advice then as a teenage uh, kid full of hormones, and it's good advice now as a real estate professional. And I want to stress that, folks. You are a professional, and so are the people that you deal with. Okay, this post, again, I don't mean to throw anybody under the, the, the bus on this. This is not my point in today. It's to help us wake up and understand that, folks, part of doing your job is answering questions that are normal for someone who is also a professional to ask. And if somebody's going to ask you how long is the appraisal going to take, why should that be so annoying? If somebody's going to ask you a simple question of, hey, uh, we're just curious because we're working on this deal, do you know fill in the blank? Now, if it's something that's out of line, then some education for that person might be in line, right? But if it's simply a question from one professional to another, right? I'm sitting in an office right now, a very small office. I call it my broom closet. When I rented this office, one of the questions from the individual, the property manager said, well, when do you think you might be able to move in? Why would I get annoyed at that question? That's a simple question from somebody who's trying to plan ahead and understand when he needs to have keys to me and when he can set up the contract and everything else. When do you think you can move in? And the question of when do you think the appraisal would be turned in should not be something that would annoy an appraiser. Now, you may not know the answer to that. In fact, frankly, right now I get questions like that all the time, whether it be from the agent or the homeowner. How long does this take? Well, if rather than get upset and, and, and irritated at the question, wouldn't it be easier to simply answer them honestly and say, you know, normally these take a couple days, Lately, honestly, they've been taking a couple weeks. We're pretty backed up, but I'll do the best I can to get it in by the due date, right? That's all you have to say. Very simple, very straightforward. Don't need to get annoyed. Don't need to expend any extra emotional energy on being annoyed at the question. Remember who you are. You are a real estate professional. As a professional, you will get asked professional questions. Now, you're going to get some asked some unprofessional questions too, okay? But you are a professional. Answer professionally. It's, it's that simple. Speaking of simple, the all-star team is simple, folks. If you have not joined, I, I ask you, take a look at another group out there. There's a great group of appraisers across the nation who are there for one sole purpose, not to complain, but to help each other. That's what the all-star team is all about. You can find out more on my website, theappraisercoach.com slash memberships. You've been listening to the Appraiser Coach podcast with Dustin Harris. If you like what you hear, please give us a five-star rating and post a short review on iTunes. For more in-depth insider information on how you can make more money as a real estate appraiser, visit theappraisercoach.com and sign up for the All-Star Team today. Thanks for joining us. And now, get out there and create some value. She's helped me to purchase a couple of different properties, and I see some of the things that she do. And frankly, let's some of the things she do, some of the things that she does, 